In this video, we're going to discuss how to fine tune a transformer model to perform text classification using a package I am the lead maintainer of called Happy Transformer. So first off, we're going to pip install Happy Transformer, hit run, and there we go, Happy Transformer is now installing. If you head over to huggingface.co, you can then search for text classification models that have already been trained. So click on models, then click on text classification, and here are many different models you can use. For example, let's say you want to perform sentiment analysis, well then there is already a sentiment analysis model you can use. I've actually created a whole video on this before, so there's a link down below. But for this tutorial, we'll be covering briefly how to implement a model called FinBert. FinBert is a text classification model that is able to classify the sentiment of financial text. It contains three labels, positive, negative, and neutral, and unlike other sentiment analysis models, it may be better at detecting some of the subtleties of financial text to determine if uh, the text is in fact positive, negative, or neutral. So let's get right to implementing it with just a few lines of code. We'll head back to the Google Colab and we want to import a class called Happy Text Classification from Happy Transformer. So from Happy Transformer, import Happy text classification, hit run, and from here we'll create an object called happy tc using this class, and for the first positional argument we will provide the model type. So in this case it is a BERT model, so we'll put BERT in all caps. As for the model name, which is the second parameter, we have to include the name, and if we head back over here, if you recall, the name is right here. We can press this button to copy it, head back, and we'll paste it in. And the final positional argument, or in this case, we'll use a named argument, is num labels. And here we have to specify the number of classes. So again, this contains three different labels, positive, negative, and neutral. So it is simply three, and let's hit run. From here, we only need one line of code to start classifying text. We'll save the result in a variable called result, and we'll use this happy TC object. We'll paste it here and call a method called classify text. We only need to provide a single string to this method for it to work. So what is something positive? How about Tesla's stock just increased by 20%? So of course this is obviously quite positive. We'll hit run, and there we go. It ran quite quickly. We'll print it, and we get a data class object with two variables, label and score. Label is obviously one of the three classes, positive, neutral, or negative, and score is the confidence for the label between zero and one. So here it looks like there's about a 93% certainty that the label is positive. Uh, moving on, we can then isolate these two variables. So we'll copy this, paste it, and then all you have to type is dot label, hit run. There we go, we just isolated this string. And we could do the same for score. Perfect. I just added a quick example of negative text. So here we have the price of gold just dropped by 5%. Again, we are using the classify text method. And then if we hit run, we get the label negative, and then a fairly high score as well. Let's move on to training. We will be training a model to determine the sentiment of text relating to NLP. So for example, given the sentence, I love text classification, then the model should determine that this sentence has positive sentiment. We will be using a model called Distilbert, and for those of you who don't know, this is like the famous BERT model, but smaller, faster, while maintaining most of the same performance. So we can copy this code right here as loading it will be quite similar to as above. And we will change the model type from BERT to distillbert, like so. Then for model name, I've included a link right here. We'll click on it. So we will be using the base uncased model. We'll copy it, head back over, and paste it for the second positional argument. And finally, for the number of labels, for the model we will be training, we will only require two labels. So we will change this to two. And let's hit run. 
Okay, we have a model installed, and now let's discuss how to format data so we can actually train it. Let's head over to an article I published on my website. I've included a link to it down below. And if we scroll down, it discusses how we need to format our data into a CSV file that contains two columns, text and label. The text column contains strings with the text you would like to classify, and the label column contains an integer. Uh, starting from zero and going upwards for what label you want to classify the text into. So here, the label zero indicates that the text is positive, while one indicates that it is negative. And I've also included code right here that you can feel free to copy, which structures a list of tuples into a CSV file we can then use to train the model with one line of code. So again, let's copy this code, head back over to Colab, and we can paste it in. We'll make it a little more organized, break these up into different cells. And let's run them. So here we are just using two training examples. Of course, this isn't a very robust way to train a model, but it's just, just as an example. So if we go over to the file structure, we can click on train CSV and we see our data right here so we can now start training the model. Let's head back over to the Colab and see how the model performs on these two cases without any fine tuning. So to do that we will call happytc.classifyText and we will provide these two different inputs. So let's copy them right over and print the result. Okay, let's hit run, and we get label zero, which means positive, but it's at about uh, 0.5, which means it really has no certainty that it is indeed label zero, it's essentially guessing. Now, if we try the other example, let's see what it outputs. We get label one, but also at around 0.5, so uh, we have not fine-tuned the model, and that is why it is unable to uh, accurately determine these two labels. But let's see what happens if we train the model. So we'll call happytc.train, and we will provide the path to the training file, which is simply train.csv. And let's hit run. Okay, so we just trained it. Let's repeat these experiments and see how the score increased. So now it has more certainty that this is indeed label zero which is positive. Let's hit this again. And it still doesn't have much certainty. We could try training. I just hit run a few times, and as you can see, the model's able to classify both cases into the correct label with a high level of certainty. So of course, this is just a little experiment, but it goes to show that the model is indeed able to learn. Let's now discuss how to modify the learning parameters. So if we head over to happytransformer.com and then click on text classification and then fine tuning, it will bring us to a page that contains a lot of information on how to train and evaluate and test text classification models. So if we scroll down, we'll see that in order to modify the learning parameters, we have to import a class called TC train args. So we'll copy this line right here, paste it in, and we've already imported happy text classification. So we'll delete that, hit run. And we can use this class to create an object that we'll call args that will contain the different learning parameters we will use. If we head back over, there's a table that has different learning parameters we can modify. And of course, I will not be explaining what these all mean, but we'll be focusing on one in particular, which is num train epochs, which is essentially the number of times the model goes through the training data to update the weights. So if we head back over, we can paste this in, and the default is three, we can increase it to five, hit run, and like before, we will call happytc.train, except under the args parameter, we will provide args and hit run. There we go. I want to quickly cover how to evaluate your model. So let's say you have a CSV file that's structured the same way as the train file. So again, uh, two columns, one for text and one for label. Then you can quickly evaluate your model right away by calling happytc.eval. And we will not include args. We will use the training CSV for evaluation. Again, of course, typically you use separate data for training and evaluating, but this is just as an example. 
and we'll save the result into a variable called result. We will print it. And what we get is a data class with a single uh, variable called loss, which we can then isolate. And the loss is very low, which makes sense because we've fine tuned it a lot on the evaluating data. I just want to conclude this video by discussing where you can look for more in-depth training examples. So you can head over to uh, Happy Transformers GitHub repo, select examples, and then text classification or whichever other category you are interested in. Here we are interested in a training example, so we'll click on trainingexample.py. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned a lot. Be sure to check out my latest course and stay happy everyone.